Stardew Valley has exactly 80 cooking recipes, and in this video I will show you how to learn each one of them, what ingredients you need to be able to craft them, and what buffs they give you. Also, spoilers ahead for Ginger Island. Starting off with the fried egg. The fried egg is the only recipe known to the player upon creating a new save file. For that, you only need one egg. The triple shot espresso recipe is only available at the starter of saloon. You can buy it at Gus for 5000 gold. You need three coffees in order to craft the triple shot espresso, and you get a plus one speed buff. Next up, all recipes from the Queen of Saws cooking channel. Starting on spring the 7th, each Sunday airs a new recipe for the first two years of the game. Every episode will have a rerun after year two. Also, every Wednesday a random recipe that is not known to the player will air as a rerun in case you missed a day. Day 7, spring, year 1, stir fry. For this recipe you need one cave carrot, one common mushroom, one kale and one oil. Day 14, spring, year 1, coleslaw. For this you need one red cabbage, one vinegar, one mayo. 21st of spring, year 1, radish salad. For this you need one radish, one oil and one vinegar. 28th of spring, year 1, the omelette. For this you need one egg and one milk. Additionally, you can also buy this recipe from the Stardrop Saloon for 100 gold. 7th of summer, year 1, baked fish. For this recipe you need one sunfish, one bream and one wheat flour. 14th of summer, year 1, pancakes. For this you need one egg and one wheat flour. Additionally, this gives you a plus 2 buff on foraging. Also, you can buy this at the Startup Saloon for 100 gold. 21st of summer, year 1, maki roll. For the maki roll, you need one type of any fish, one seaweed and one rice. This recipe is also available at the Startup Saloon for 300 gold. 28th summer, year 1, bread. For this, you only need one wheat flour. Also available at the saloon for 100 gold. Day 7 on fall, year 1, tortilla. For the tortilla, you need one corn. Also available at the saloon for 100 gold. 14th of fall, year 1, trout soup. For the trout soup, you need one rainbow trout and one green algae. Additionally, this gives you a plus one buff to fishing. 21st of fall, year 1, glazed yams. For this recipe, you need one yam and one sugar. 28th of fall, year 1, artichoke dip. For the artichoke dip, you need one artichoke and one milk. 7th of winter, year 1, plum pudding. For this, you need two wild plums, one wheat flour and one sugar. 14th of winter, year 1, chocolate cake. For the chocolate cake, you need one egg, one sugar and one wheat flour. 21st of winter, year 1, pumpkin pie. For this, you need one pumpkin, one wheat flour, one milk and one sugar. 28th of winter, year one, cranberry candy. For this, you need one cranberry, one apple, and one sugar. Day seven of spring, year two, pizza. The pizza requires one wheat flour, one tomato, and one cheese. Additionally, this can be bought at the startup saloon for 150 gold. 14th of spring, year two, hash browns. The hash browns require one potato and one oil. This also gives you a plus one buff on farming, and can also be bought at the startup saloon for 50 gold. 21st of spring, year two, complete breakfast. This requires one portion of hash browns, one portion of pancakes, one fried egg and one milk. This gives you a plus two farming buff and a plus 50 health points. 28th of spring, year two, lucky lunch. For this, you need one sea cucumber, one tortilla and one blue jazz. This gives you a plus three luck buff. Day 7 on summer, year 2, carb surprise. For this, you need 4 carbs. 14th of summer, year 2, maple bar. For this, you need 1 maple syrup, 1 sugar and 1 wheat flour. 21st of summer, year 2, pink cake. For the pink cake, you need 1 melon, 1 wheat flour, 1 sugar and 1 egg. 28th of summer, year 2, roasted hazelnuts. These require 3 hazelnuts. Day 7 of fall, year 2, fruit salad. The fruit salad recipe requires one blueberry, one melon, and one apricot. 14th fall, year two, blackberry cobbler. For this, you need two blackberries, one sugar, and one wheat flour. 21st of fall, year two, crab cakes. For the crab cakes, you need one crab, one wheat flour, one egg, and one oil. 28th of fall, year two, fiddlehead risotto. For this, you need one fiddlehead fern, 
one oil and one garlic. 7th of winter, year 2, the poppy seed muffin. For this, you need one poppy flour, one wheat flour and one sugar. 14th of winter, year 2, lobster bisque. For this, you need one lobster and one milk. Additionally, if you have more than 9 hearts with Willy, you can get this recipe in the mail. 21st of winter, year 2, pochetta. For this, you need one bread, one oil and one tomato. And lastly, 28th of winter, year 2, the shrimp cocktail. For this, you need one tomato, one shrimp and one wild horseradish. Moving on to recipes that you get from villagers in your mailbox. Upon reaching more than 3 hearts with Emily, you get the salad recipe. For this, you need one leek, one dandelion and one vinegar. For having more than 7 hearts with her, you get the red plate. For this recipe, you need one red cabbage and one radish. Also, this gives you a plus 50 max energy boost. For having more than 3 hearts with Pam, you get the cheese cauliflower recipe. For this, you need one cauliflower and one cheese. After gaining more than 7 hearts with her, you get the stuffing recipe. For this, you need one bread, one cranberry and one hazelnut. This gives you a plus 2 defense buff. After getting more than 3 hearts with Caroline, you get the parsnip soup recipe. For this, you need one parsnip, one milk and one vinegar. After gaining more than 7 hearts with her, you get the vegetable medley. For this, you need one tomato and one beet. For having more than 3 hearts with Jody, you get the fried calamari recipe. For this, you need one squid, one wheat flour and one oil. After having more than 7 hearts with her, you can learn how to make ice cream. For this, you need one milk and one sugar. For having more than 3 hearts with Shane, you get the pepper poppers. These require one hot pepper and one cheese. Additionally, this gives you a plus 2 farming and plus 1 speed buff. For having more than 7 hearts with Shane, you get the strange bun recipe. This needs one periwinkle, one void mayo and one wheat flour. After gaining more than 3 hearts with Demetrius, he gives you the fried mushroom recipe. This needs one common mushroom, one moro and one oil. This also gives you a plus 2 attack buff. After having more than 7 hearts with him, he gives you the autumn spawnty recipe. This needs one yam, one pumpkin. This also gives you 2 foraging and a plus 2 defense buff. After having more than 3 hearts with Clint, he gives you the LG soup recipe. For this, you need 4 green LGs. After having more than 7 hearts with him, he gives you the bean hot pot recipe. For this, you need 2 green beans. This gives you a plus 30 max energy boost and plus 32 to your magnetism. For having more than 3 hearts with Gus, get the salmon dinner. For this, you need 1 salmon, 1 amaranth and 1 kale. For having 7 hearts with him, you get the cranberry sauce recipe. This needs 1 cranberry and 1 sugar. Additionally, this gives a plus 2 mining buff. After reaching 3 hearts with Linus, he gives you the sashimi recipe. For this, you just need any type of fish. After having reached 7 hearts with him, he gives you the fish taco recipe. For this, you need 1 tuna, 1 tortilla, 1 red cabbage and 1 mayo. This gives you a plus 2 fishing buff. After gaining 3 hearts with Kent, he gives you the crispy bass recipe. This requires 1 large mouth bath, 1 wheat flour and 1 oil. This gives you a plus 64 to your magnetism. After reaching 7 hearts with Kent, he gives you the super meal. This requires 1 bok choy, 1 cranberry and 1 artichoke. This gives you plus 40 max energy and a plus 1 speed buff. After reaching 7 hearts with Sandy, she gives you the Tomka soup recipe. This requires 1 coconut, 1 shrimp and 1 common mushroom. This gives you a plus 30 max energy buff and a plus 2 to farming. After gaining more than 3 hearts with Marnie, she gives you the pale broth recipe. This requires 2 white algae. After having 7 hearts with her, she gives you the rhubarb pie. This requires 1 rhubarb, 1 wheat flour and 1 sugar. After seeing Evelyn's 4 heart event, you unlock the cookie recipe. For this you need 1 wheat flour, 1 sugar and 1 egg. After gaining 7 hearts with her, she gives you the rice pudding recipe. For this you need 1 milk, 1 sugar and 1 rice. After having more than 3 hearts with Louis, you can learn the spaghetti recipe. For this you need 1 wheat flour and 1 tomato. After having 7 hearts with him, he gives you the eggplant parmesan recipe. This requires one eggplant, one tomato. This gives you a plus one mining and a plus three defense buff. Upon having three hearts with George, he gives you the fried eel recipe. This requires one eel and one oil. 
Additionally, you get a plus one to luck. After having more than seven hearts with George, he gives you the spicy eel recipe. For this, you need one eel and one hot pepper. This gives you a plus one luck and a plus one speed buff. Upon reaching more than three hearts with Pierre, he gives you the blueberry tart. For this, you need one blueberry, one wheat flour, one sugar, and one egg. After having more than seven hearts with Robin, she gives you the pumpkin soup recipe. For this, you need one pumpkin and one milk. Additionally, you get a plus two in defense and plus two in luck. Having more than three hearts with Willy grants you the chowder recipe. For this, you need one clam and one milk. For having more than five hearts with Willy, he gives you the escargot recipe. For this, you need one snail and one garlic. For having more than seven hearts with him, he gives you the fish stew recipe. For this, you need one crayfish, one mussel, one periwinkle, and one tomato. And as mentioned earlier, you can also get the lobster bisque recipe from him for having more than nine hearts with him. For having more than three hearts with Leo, he gives you the poi recipe. This requires four taro roots. After reaching seven hearts with Liu, he gives you the mango sticky rice. This recipe requires one mango, one coconut, and one rice. Onto recipes that are locked behind skills. Upon reaching level three farming, you get access to the farmer's lunch. For this, you need one omelet and one parsnip. This gives you plus three to farming. After reaching level two foraging, you get the survival burger recipe. For this, you need one bread, one cave carrot, and one eggplant. This gives you plus three to foraging. After reaching level three fishing, you get the dish or the sea. This recipe requires two sardines and one portion of hash browns. This gives you plus three to your fishing. Upon reaching level nine in fishing, you get access to the sea foam pudding. For this, you need one flounder, one midnight carp, and one squid ink. This gives you a plus four fishing buff. After reaching level 3 mining, you unlock the miner's treat. For this, you need 2 cave carrots, 1 sugar, and 1 milk. This gives you a plus 3 mining buff, but also plus 32 to your magnetism. After reaching level 3 combat, you get access to the roots platter. For this recipe, you need 1 cave carrot and 1 winter root. This gives you a plus 3 attack buff. The squid ink ravioli unlocks after reaching level 9 combat. For this recipe, you need one squid ink, one wheat flour, and one tomato. This gives you a plus one mining buff, but also the squid ink ravioli buff, which makes you immune to all enemy debuffs. Lastly, recipes that are locked behind Ginger Island. The ginger ale can be purchased from the dwarf in the volcano dungeon for a thousand gold. This recipe requires three ginger and one sugar. Additionally, it gives you a plus one luck buff. The banana pudding recipe can be bought from the island trader for 30 bone fragments. This recipe requires one pudding, one type of any milk, and one sugar. This gives you a plus one mining, luck, and defense buff. And lastly, the tropical curry. This recipe can only be bought from Gus after unlocking the Ginger Island Beach Resort. For this recipe, you need one coconut, one pineapple, and one hot pepper. Additionally, it gives you a plus four foraging buff. And there you go, all 80 cooking recipes in Stardew Valley. Thanks for watching.